Why are there 43 quintillion, 252 quadrillion, 3 trillion, 277 billion, 489 million, 866,000 possible combinations of the Rubik's Cube? Oh my god! Well first, let's stop treating Rubik's Cube as a twisty puzzle and start treating it like what it actually is. Then, let's put it back together. There are two types of pieces, corner and edge pieces. Let's start with edges. There are 12 edges on the Rubik's Cube. The first edge, you have 12 spots to choose from when you're putting it back into the cube. The next edge, you have 11, then 10, then 9, and so on. If you've ever gone to school, you'll know that this can be written as 12 factorial. But, each edge can be flipped two ways, so you have to multiply that by two raised to the power of the amount of pieces there are, in this case, 12. And for the corners, you do the same thing, but since there are eight of them, you will get eight factorial times two to the power of eight. There are a couple impossible positions on the Rubik's Cube, so you have to divide that number by 12 to compensate for that. At the end, you get 12 factorial times two to the power of 12, times eight factorial times two to the power of eight, divided by 12.